Hello and welcome back today. I want to talk to you again about John Owen's book, Communion with God. Uh, we are in part two, uh, chapter one. And, um, and the section, the, part two, is on our fellowship with or our communion with uh, the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Uh, in this video, uh, the first video, we want to uh, talk about the fact that we are saved for fellowship with Jesus. So uh, that's one of the reasons, um, one of the main reasons why you are saved. You are saved to have a fellowship with Jesus. Uh, and one way to think about it is that fellowship with God is what we lost uh, in the fall. Uh, when Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, they, they had close fellowship with God. And, and then through the fall, through their sin, their, their fellowship was broken. They were cast out of the garden. And we are saved. Uh, one of the great things we get is we get uh, God back. Uh, God gives us himself. He gives us fellowship uh, with him. And so uh, we have fellowship with God. And when we think about Jesus, we think, okay, well, well, with Jesus, we have fellowship with a mediator, uh, with the Savior, with the one who restored that fellowship. But again, what he's restoring is fellowship, uh, a fellowship that was lost, a fellowship that we can now have. So Jesus saved you to have fellowship with him. Right? And if you are not saved by Jesus, if you don't have faith in Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins, you, you, you're not saved and you don't have fellowship. But if you do have faith in Jesus, then you are saved so that you will have fellowship with Jesus. Uh, think about 1 Corinthians 1, 9. God is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ our Lord. We were, we were called into fellowship. So, so if you are a person, or if any person would be a person who is not interested in fellowship with Jesus, uh, that seems to point to uh, perhaps not really understanding what the calling of salvation was all about. It's a calling to have fellowship with Jesus. And if you're not interested in that, then maybe you're not really interested in salvation. Maybe you're not really in interested in what Jesus has to offer, because what he has to offer is a fellowship, is a relationship uh, with him. And that's what he offers you, and that's why he saved you, so that you can have that fellowship with him. Now, one of the ways that we want to think about what we get uh, from this is uh, what uh, Owen calls a sort of a mutual refreshment. Uh, and he points to Revelation 3.20. It's a, it's a verse perhaps you've heard of. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and eat with him and he with me. And the idea, though, is that there is, uh, there's an eating, there's a, there's a meal uh, that we would share perhaps and uh, you might just want to think about, well, why do people eat meals? Uh, do people eat meals because they're bored? They just need something to do? No, no, no. People, people eat meals because uh, they, they haven't had food. And the food itself and, and, the, and the, the event itself is a bit of a, 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 a matter that brings refreshing. And, and that's a good way to think about uh, our eating or our supping or our fellowshipping uh, with Jesus. There's a bit of refreshing that comes from it. Uh, we are to be refreshed by our fellowship that we have with the Lord. And, and at the same time, the interesting thing, though, is that the Lord has a bit of a delight in us. Uh, isn't that interesting? Maybe you don't think about it that way. You think, well, it makes perfect sense that I would delight in Jesus, but Jesus delighted me. How could that be? And uh, Owen's answer is, well... Uh, Jesus has delights, a delight in you by the fruit that is in us. Uh, Jesus is working in us by the Holy Spirit, right? The indwelling Holy Spirit is inside of us if we're saved, right? With the result then that uh, by uh, the Spirit indwelling in us, there is fruit produced in us and Jesus delights in the fruit he sees in us. So again, Jesus is holy and delightful to us. Yet we, again, by the Spirit's work in us, we are a delight to Jesus. Uh, the, the, the fruit that the Spirit produces in us is a delight to Jesus. And there's our fellowship. So if you want to say, well, what's the fellowship that we have with Jesus? Well, he refreshes us by his greatness. And, and then we, in, in a sense, he delights. I don't know if refreshed is right, but he is, he is uh, pleased with us because of the fruit that he produces in us by the Holy Spirit. And so... Um, if uh, the question though is if his delight is uh, in um, our spirit produced fruit, that's that's what that's what the Lord delights in us. Uh, what is our delight in Him? And we want to spend a few more minutes on this. What is our what ought our delight in Him to be? Well, what are the reasons why we should delight in Him? And and uh, and Owen says that Jesus abounds in precious and pleasant graces, right? He is great in every way. Uh, he's the tree of life. Uh, he gives us eternal life, right? 
So he gives us all we need for eternal life. He's, he's the righteousness that we hunger and thirst after, right? The, the, the Sermon on the Mount, blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. Well, we have a hunger and a thirst for righteousness. He is the righteous one, and, and we are filled uh, in our fellowship with him. In Jesus, then, we find pardon and mercy and grace and acceptance with God, and holiness, and sanctification. And we could go on and on. There's all kinds of wonderful things uh, in Jesus. And we have fellowship with this one who just abounds in all of these great graces. So, so in Jesus, then, we find uh, also, we might say, uh, importantly, shelter from the wrath of God, right? The wrath of God b abides on us if we are uh, not saved, if we just remain in our sins. But, but in Jesus, we are under his shadow. And again, under the shadow of his wings, we sit down uh, constantly, quietly, safely, and we put our trust in him. And isn't that a wonderful picture of what we can have in our fellowship with God? We live in a world full of trouble, a, a world full of corruption. Uh, it's, a, it's a world in which uh, we just get worn out and weary. And Jesus uh, gives us uh, a place of quiet and rest and repose. There's just there's so many blessings that come in our fellowship with Jesus that we need, our soul needs. And so we find our joy in our fellowship with him. And I hope this helps you think about uh, the importance and the joy and the blessing of our uh, fellowship with Jesus Christ.